Oh, we had the uh, King of Swords pop out. Which, that's not your original reading, but you could be in your power right now, Sparks. Not playing with anybody. Like, you know, you ain't going to come to me with them motherfucking games. Because I'm going to tell you something right now. The game I could play is annihilation of your existence type of shit. You know how us Scarps get down. We don't play that bullshit. Ooh, the Empress wanted to come out, too. You could be cutting off a, uh, uh, a baby mama. <laughs> That's what they call them. In these, in these times, I call them a mother of the, uh, of the children, man. Fuck all that new age shit. Oh, the baby mama, the baby daddy. I don't know. I just think it sounds stupid. That's my personal opinion on the thing. Oh, shit. Hold on, Scarps. Let's see. Okay, what do we have for Scorpio? The current situation in her love life. I'm going to do a 10-card spread. A 10-card spread, Scorpios. What do we have for Scorpio in her love life? Current situation. What do we have for Scorpio in her love life? A current situation in her love life. Y'all got to excuse the noise in the background too much. I hate when the cars do that. That shit pisses me off. Okay, we're going to give it one more shuffle. What do we... Oh, we had the Five of Swords. Somebody could be feeling defeated. I'm giving up on the situation. Doesn't have to be. It's just... We have the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck, Scarps. Could be a possible reconciliation. Ooh, the Devil card. Oh, that ain't bad. I don't get a bad energy from that Devil. But we still have the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck, okay? What I have here is the Hermit, the Justice, Two of Swords in Reverse, Nine of Wands in Reverse, the Devil, the world in reverse, six of wands, the death in reverse, the fool, and the three of wands in reverse. Okay? You could be possibly dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Libra. Uh, Air, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be dealing with a Capricorn with this devil card here. Sign of Capricorn. Uh, could be dealing with another Scorpio. What I see here, Scarps, is a cycle that keeps repeating itself over and over and over again. You could be chained and bound to somebody. Let's see. Yeah, what I see right now, Scarps, is you're in hermit mode, trying to get justice on a situation, possibly finding out because somebody had two options. And they put you at this crossroads. Okay, they put you at a crossroads before, but now you come out of that. And it's left you defeated in a way. Now you're chained to the situation. You're trying to figure out how to get uh, unchained. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to uh, figure out how to cut the chains. Because you don't want to keep repeating the same cycle over and over and over. You want to get your victory. You feel like the situation hasn't died down yet. Like the situation isn't dead. Feelings aren't dead. They're still there. That's the way I look at the death card in reverse. Like I just use my intuition when it comes to stuff like this. You want to possibly take a leap of faith. As something new. But right now you're not in that energy. Because you could have found out about a third party. And now you're just not getting justice on it. Which is why it's got you in hermit mode. And you feel chained and bound to that person. Just like I said, you could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Libra. Justice is the, uh, the Libra card. This is Capricorn. Virgo. As y'all can see. Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. It's just the energy in these cards. I got a lot of fire energy here, Scarps. A lot of fire energy. You could be possibly dealing with a Leo. 
just like I said, it doesn't have to be. It's just the energy I'm picking up on. Or they could possibly have a lot of fire in their chart. You could be obsessing over somebody. You could be obsessing over somebody. And in order for you to get off this uh, stagnation period from the world being in reverse, in order to get out this stagnation period, you're going to have to turn this death upright like that, okay? It's just an analogy. You're going to have to go through that transformation in order for you to take that leap of faith. Because as of now, I see that, you know, um, you could possibly be coming out of all this pain. Or you could possibly just feel defeated in the situation. And you're coming out of crossroads. Yeah, that's another storyline I'm getting. You're coming out of the crossroads because you don't got justice on the situation. Justice was served. For somebody who was more than likely toxic as fuck that had a third party involved, yet you cut them off. And now you're going to get your victory. Watch out for haters too, Scarps. Watch out for these haters. Look at that one right there. You see it? I don't know if y'all can see it that good. See how they got that look on their face? They ain't really happy for you. Fuck you soaking for. You mad because Scorpio gonna get their victory? That's just tough shit. That's what I tell them motherfuckers. You don't play around with people, Scarps. Stay on your fucking ground. Somebody betrays you, you move the fuck on, bro. I know it's going to be hard because, trust me, when we invest our time into people, speaking on my experience, when we invest our time into people, bro, we don't bullshit around with them. And they ain't going to fucking do that shit to us either. I'm going to just be real with you. There ain't no excuses when it comes to betrayal. I'm just being real, bro. I don't tell people what they, what, what they want to hear. I'm going to tell them what they need to hear. I have exactly five placements in Scorpio. Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Rise, I'm a Scorpio Stellium. I don't play. Um, yeah, you could be. Uh, yeah, yeah, you find out this person was toxic and pro possibly was involved in a third party situation, and this left you wounded. But yet, it has you feeling defeated. But let me tell you something right now, Scarps. Let me tell y'all something. You were never defeated. You're never defeated. Okay, and I'm not done with this reading yet either. Because I'm going to give you some advice, okay, after I, I finish this read right here. It's basically already done, but I'm going to keep on reading to the energy, see if I get another storyline. But let me tell you something right now. You're never defeated because I'm going to tell you something. Even though I done said that like 50,000 times, which that's an over-exaggerated over analogy, but uh, <laughs> so pay attention to me. You are never defeated, okay? You are going through a rebirthing stage, all right? You're burning yourself down to ashes. That means... A spiritual death. Okay? It doesn't mean defeated because defeat you could come back to... Uh, wait, how can I say this? Defeat you still... Think about Mortal Kombat, okay, for instance. You lose at a match and you come back. The person got beat up. Right? But yet you burned yourself down to ashes. You never got defeated. You burned yourself down to ashes. Because Scorpios will defeat... It's not about defeating themselves. It's about annihilating every bit of your existence to where there's nothing left in order to come back as a new rebirth individual. That's what I get. You wasn't defeated from this person or this situation. You just woke the hell up and seen the truth for what it is and it put you in an illusion of defeat. You have to remember defeat is a state of mind. You can either choose to look at it from a different perspective or look at it as if, oh, I was beaten. But how you was beaten? I'm going to tell you something right now. The person that is beaten beyond the level of beaten is the person that fucked you over because it's their loss. Take that. It's their loss, Scarps. I'm not going to do no cross uh, Roger Reed neither because people need to learn how to focus on themselves. So if you're cross watching, you get mad, you have no business fucking with this Scorpio. That's all I'm going to tell you. Get mad all you want. It ain't my life I'm living. I don't put up with that betrayal shit, man. I don't like people like that. I don't respect them. And I have I have nothing to do with them. I'm just be real with everybody. You know what I'm saying? 
But yeah, Scarp, so I see you in this Hermit energy. You could be dealing with, a, just like I said, a Virgo. But uh, you're going to get your victory in the situation because you found out this person was toxic and they try to put you in this illusion as if, oh yeah, you, you took a loss and you're defeated and all this, but yet they don't want us left out in the cold. Because when a Scorpio is done with you, they'll shut the door forever, bro, I'm telling you. When a Scorpio is good and done, bye. See you later. We ain't playing. What do we have for the advice for Scorps? What do we have for advice from the universe, from God, from the angels? What do we have from the universe? What do we have from the universe? My scar issues. Oh, Ten of Pentacles on the bottom. Okay, Scarps, uh, for the advice, I advise y'all not to focus on love right now, okay? I advise y'all not to focus on love right now because it's your time to shine, okay? It's your time to shine. Get your balance back. But if you need to stay in that rest mode, okay? If you need to stay in hermit mode for a little bit to recover from that betrayal, it's okay. You need to get your your um you need to get your thoughts in order, okay? You need to get your 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 energies balanced out, okay? That's the way I look at it. Because you made the final judgment call. Just like I said, the judgment is here. You made the call. You found out this person wasn't your ten of cups, okay? This is another form of clarification. That's the way I look at the card of advice, you know. But but anybody's going to interpret it however they want. But I interpret it like that. You need to just leave this person alone and cut them out. I'm going to just be real with y'all. I know it's going to be hard because when you invest your time into somebody, you invest it in them only. You know what I'm saying? I can't really speak for all Scorpios because they do have different range of them. You know, they can have a lower range Scorpio that, that's just still in that lower stage. But once they evolve, bro, you're going to have a loyal Scorpio. That's all I'm going to say. When they reach that Phoenix stage, you, you can have a Scorpio that's reliable, dependable, and can actually be there for you, bro. And they ain't going to fuck you over. But if you fuck them over, see you. Bye. We ain't playing that. Anyways, I'm just straight to the point, bro. I don't care. Anyway, Scarps, it's y'all time to shine like a star, bro, like the star you are, okay? Uh, I can see you right here in the near future coming out of meditation mode because, you know, uh, gave yourself time to meditate on this situation to only find out that this person wasn't your Ten of Cups because you could find that elsewhere. You could find the same Ten of Cups. I'm going to tell you something right now. You could find the same love, that Ten of Cups, within the inside of you. I'm going to tell you that right now. You can find that same type of love within the inside of you. You can stalk yourself but just by looking in the mirror and saying, hey, I love you. It may take a lot, bro, to sit there and actually love yourself after coming out of this pain. But I'm going to tell you something. The main reason why we go through, through things like this in life is because it's a lesson to be learned. It's to gain that strength, that spiritual strength to awaken us and ascend more. Okay? What I see here is you shining bright in the future, y'all. In the near future, shining like the star you are. Because you made that final judgment call. Okay? Or if you haven't made that final judgment call, you're still in your head. This is clarity right here. This is a form of clarification. You may, you know, you need to make that final judgment call. That way you could come out the hermit mode. Maybe that's why you're in the hermit mode because this right here. Okay? But that's not the reading, though. I'm just reading what the cards show. You're going to get your balance back because as soon as you cut this situation loose. <clears throat> but but all I have to say is, okay, you're not going to be in hermit mode that, that much longer. That That's another thing that I'm getting from there. Excuse the hiccup there. That's another thing I'm getting. You're not going to be in that hermit mode much longer because you're going to be coming out that meditation mode. That's a, This is time for self-reflection. 
and to get to know yourself a little better. And that's going to give you time to make that final judgment call because this is at the end of the uh, spread right here. That final judgment call will be made because this person, they're, they're no good for you, Scar. I don't really want to be the person of negative readings, but I'm going to tell you something right now. This is the reality side of life. People want to go by what they want to hear, but it's not about what they want to hear. This is where you feed people illusions and you get them, uh, you con them into coming back to your channel only for subscriptions. Man, get the fuck out of here. People need to be told the truth. That's what I tell people. You know what I'm saying? Now, this reading could be completely different if somebody else was reading it, but that's the way they interpret it. It's all in what resonates with you, with the person that's listening. But if you think I'm going to sit up here and tell people what they want to hear, you out your mind, bro. And this is not about lying just to get uh, subs. If I lose subs, bro, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. It means that they ain't ready to handle the truth. You know what I'm saying? Reddit could be a Scorpio, it could be a Scorpio rising, it could be a Scorpio moon, Scorpio Venus, Scorpio North Node rising. I don't care what sign you are. This channel right here is going to be getting you on some game, putting you on some game of what the truth really is, what the reality side of life is. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't about abusing my power, man. If I was abusing my power, I'd be lying to people. You know what I'm saying? Tell them what they want to hear and, oh, we got to keep it all about positivity. No, life is about finding that balance. Even if you're in balance, you still have both sides of the spectrum. You know what I'm saying? You still, how can I say this? You still have both sides of the scale. No matter if it's on a negative, sometimes it could be weighing down like that. Eventually, it'll balance back out. Sometimes you'll be with the positive up there. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you'll be with the positive way down here, weighing down. You'll be all up in your positive state of mind. But it's all about having a negative and a positive. You'll find that balance. Simple as that. Because you have to have the negative and the positive, okay? Think about the minus and the plus sign. That's a great analogy that y'all can go by. You know? You see the plus sign as the positive. You see the negative as the minus. But that's what I have for y'all, Scarps. Um, y'all going to be coming out of the stagnation period of uh, meditation mode, meditating on the situation and having your final judgment call because this person, whoever they are, they betrayed you, bro, left you out in the cold. And quite frankly, don't give two fucks about you. I'm just going to be real, man. That's fucked up, bro. It's fucked up. But you know what? Those same type of people that mess you over, they're going to face their karma because that's the way the universal law is. Don't never think that somebody is going to get away with lying to you, deceiving you, and cheating on you like that. Because what they do to other people, it will gladly come right back to them. So y'all take it easy out there, man. Y'all make sure y'all like and subscribe. And if you could possibly donate, I'm going to leave a link in the description box below. Donate small portions, large portions. It really don't matter, but I would greatly appreciate it, okay? Y'all take it easy out there. Peace out.